What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Today, you can now generate any song that you can imagine using Google's newest AI tool called Music FX. This tool is pretty impressive and today we're gonna show you just how fast and fun it is to generate beautiful music. Now, I've used other music generators in the past, but this one is by far the most insane, mostly because we're able to describe a song and there's also a lot of really cool tools and use cases that I'm gonna show you today to really get the most out of this. Anyways, I'm super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. <laughs> so first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go over to AI Test Kitchen with google.com, which I'll leave a link down in that description box. Now, once you're there, you're gonna see this super clean user interface, which on the left side, you're gonna see this example text that we can either hit tab to instantly enter and generate. And then on the right hand side here is where the song actually gets generated. So for this first example, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit tab so you can hear what gets generated. One of the things that you're gonna notice when I hit generate is that certain sections of the prompt actually get highlighted which means that there's additional options or variations that we can play around with using this card mechanic. All right, I gotta say, this honestly sounds like some super generic stock music. And if you wanna create something a little bit more original and better sounding, I highly recommend that you come up with your own prompt to help you define a specific sound instead of instruments. For example, one of my favorite artists, his name is Masayoshi Takanaka. Despite being Japanese, his music was heavily inspired by Brazilian jazz, which later set the stage for Japanese jazz, then Japanese pop, and eventually Japanese city pop, which most people can kind of refer to as the 80s Japanese city pop. So I can't play too much of his music here for copyright issues, but now using AI, I'll be able to recreate something similarly inspired by his music. Now, what's really cool is that Masayoshi Takanaka heavily inspired the music style that you hear in games from Nintendo. So to generate music with this similar style, we don't even have to use the Nintendo phrasing at all. And instead, we'll just go to the very base of his inspiration and generate this music with AI. So I'll type in a prompt that describes Masayoshi's songs, Japanese jazz inspired song with a moody solo guitar, Japanese city pop 80s. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click generate. Once I hit generate, you're gonna see it's optimizing the prompt. So now that these are done generating, let's go ahead and take a listen and you decide for yourself, does this sound like something that Masayoshi Takanaka would have had on his album? Okay, I gotta say, this sounds really good. And if we wanted to change this a little bit more, let's go into the settings down here. So what's really cool is that we have a seed number, which by default is unlocked to give you more variety. But if you actually wanted to keep your song sounding very similar, you can keep the seed the same. Another thing that's really cool is that by default, it's gonna generate the songs in 30 seconds, but we have this track length option here to where we can actually make these generations as long as 70 seconds, which I think is more than enough. My favorite feature here is the looping feature, which actually makes the song loop. That way, if you wanted a song to use in a background, like let's say a YouTube video, you could then just take a 30 second clip, have it looping and use it as long as you'd like throughout the video. So that's just something super cool and super useful. And I'm glad that they incorporated this in as well. So if we were to click generate again, we will get another set of songs that sound pretty similar. So let's go ahead and change one slight feature here. We have these blocks that are gonna show us suggestions of similar topics that we can plug in if we wanna generate another song with something slightly varied. If we wanted to change it from Japanese city pop to let's say Brazilian samba, instead of a moody solo guitar, let's do a soaring violin melody. I have no idea how this is gonna sound. Let's go ahead and hit generate and see what comes out.
Okay, so I think this sounds pretty cheesy. I'm not too much of a fan, but let me show you another cool way to use this. So let's go over to ChatGPT and ask it to describe the musical stylings of Playboy Cardi. Now already it's given us some pretty awesome adjectives to use like minimalistic beats, atmospheric soundscapes, high energy, catchy hooks. So I'm curious if I was to plug this into this AI and go ahead and use those as our actual prompt. So let's see. All right, this one sounds pretty crazy. It's not perfect. I mean, I gave it Playboy Cardi, so that was a, a little difficult for something for the AI to generate it, at least in my opinion. So let's go ahead and show you now how to use the DJ mode, which is tucked away here in the top. And to activate it, all you have to do is click on this button right here. And you're gonna see that instead of getting the prompt section as before, we actually have these sliders so we can fine tune the different keywords that are being generated in the song. What's also really cool is that this song is going to be able to have this live play feature, which by default, it's going to give you three different keywords. And if you want to delete any of them, just highlight over it and hit the trash can so you can get rid of it. Now you're going to notice that there's no generate button. And the reason for this is because this is going to be a live AI generation. So it actually works as soon as you hit play. So as you can see, there's a lot of ways to use this tool, and I'm sure you guys are going to have a whole lot of fun using it. But if you want to check out some more awesome tools that are going to help you speed up your workflow, save a lot of time, I highly recommend that you check out this video where we talk about using AI in a bunch of ways. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one. All right. Peace.